Will? All right, so uh, ARM. ARM. Great. Oh. FinFET. Great. Digital. True circuits. Analog, timing, power management. What's there something missing though? Let's talk about graphics. Graphics. And I talked to you know I Be said graphic. I said you know what I have a great imagination. Indeed. And I, oh, I know. I just... But I think uh, one of the leading uh, providers in in this technology would be imagination. Ah, uh, imagination. That's a small group in the UK uh, there. Yes. yes. And the, and very the, friendly folks. And the gentleman that could speak on that would be yes. David Harold right uh, here. Duh. Let's meet him. David, hey, thank you. Good to see you, Sean. All right. Hey, Hello, John. Thanks for joining us today. So, um, John and I have been walking around looking at the different uh, uh, TSMC uh, partners and collaboration and technology, and we're talking about graphics. And, and you had a question earlier, I think, about how this all kind of fits in. With what? A common theme here has been um, moving to the lower nodes. FinFets are sexy and attractive. We don't have to dwell on that, but certainly with each process node, there's changes that uh, go along, and especially in the world of GPU, of graphics. Um, can you enlighten us? I couldn't agree more. I mean, a lot of the reason we're here, and you know, we announced our partnership um, with TSMC back in June, is because people are really looking at graphics now, uh, how it's driving things. You know, if you say maybe in the 70s and 80s, um, process change was driven by memory. And then you get into the 90s and you probably say CPUs and, and maybe PC graphics. Now really, there's a lot of talk about actually mobile GPUs and a lot of the work being done around looking at process change is about the GPU because not only is it a big part of any given SOC, but actually a lot of the other issues, um, bandwidth requirements within the system, for example, are really being driven by GPUs more than any other technology within a heterogeneous processor. So, you know, we're here because we're working with TSMC on all of those issues. And that, you know, it involves the things that you would expect. Certainly um, SIP, you know, that's a, that's a possibility. But even more than that, 3DIC um, and wide I.O. and all the other, you know, potential technologies which will get you over key issues. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, you know, there, there's talk about what do you put on the mobile, what do you put on the client, what do you put on someplace else, and you yeah. play in all those spaces. Yeah, I, I, absolutely. And, I mean, at this point, you know, there's still a lot of debate and discussion. How do we look at systems? You know, there are things that we're involved in, like the HSA, uh, where we're talking about, actually, what are the underlying technologies for processes within a given SOC to talk to each other? Then there's... The other end of things, so with TSMC, we're really working on process and library optimization, all kinds of different levels, mm -hmm. so that actually as people move down the process nodes, and our customers are people who are particularly aggressive about doing that, um, given the kinds of markets they're in and, and the key issues we need to get over. Um, so there's, there's a lot of discussion, you know, we've given a talk here, nobody has all the answers yet. Mm -hmm. But you know the debate that's going on is really exciting for, for everybody, I think, involved in, in the mobile market in particular, but then across everything, you know, things like thermal characteristics, they don't just matter in mobile, they matter in servers, they matter in any market that you might want to use a GPU. And with GPU compute coming through, that's actually any market. So mm -hmm. fantastic. Did you want to talk about any of the, this particular processor? What what is it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the big screen right here, this is our um, next generation graphics technology. Uh -huh. So we've shipped, um, you know, 850 million units of our graphics, which is nice, but, you know, the pace of change never stops. So probably uh, early next year, you'll start to see the first products coming through with our next generation, PyVR Series 6. It's designed to work with the Kronos OpenGL ES 3.0 API, which has a lot of interesting features, but most particularly has a lot of efficiencies. So really, the mobile market is all about efficiencies. PowerVR, our graphics technology, is so successful in mobile because it's a tile-based deferred renderer. All that really means <laughs> is it's more efficient than most graphics technologies. And anything which can help you get increased efficiency, lower bandwidth use, lower power, and ultimately the thermal characteristics that go along with that, is incredibly important. So, you know, there, there are a lot of ways of doing effects which you see at the higher end in games consoles and, and those types of systems, but doing them in a way which is efficient enough to put them into mobile. And that's really what we're showing here and what a lot of these features, you know, multiple render targets and light indices and all of those, it doesn't matter exactly what they are, but they're really good ways of getting incredible pictures off a tiny device.
great. And is it and with the library with the OpenGL, it's easy for a programmer to just make a call and, and have these effects. I mean, really oh, painlessly. Right? Absolutely. I mean, OpenGL is a standard that you know we are big, big supporters of, and OpenCL, which is the compute side from nice. Kronos, allowing you to run, you know, not just putting pixels on screens, but other very parallel um, applications on the GPU instead of a CPU. You know, th those are things we're big supporters of, and, and really make it easy to get to the heart of these systems and get the power that's in there out onto the screen or out into the application. I do want to say that uh, Imagination's IP is readily available very quickly and easy, easily on chipestimate.com. Again, you know, at the inception of uh, a designer's next chip design, they can quickly go to chipestimate.com, explore the IP catalog from uh, Imagination and make a very quick and early uh, design decision. And uh, so I really appreciate your time, David, and uh, we're moving on. Sounds no, it's good. always a pleasure to work with you, Thank you very much. Thanks. Good to see you, David.